Hi, my name is Andrew Fages. Today we're going through some of uh, the flows and some examples on the account management and how you can use flows to enhance your account management. So uh, the first one here, we're looking at our account and we can see that uh, for billing purposes and um, also assigning to the correct sales team, uh, we want to have the region populated. Uh, in most cases, some of our users wouldn't know what the regions are correctly. We'd want this in an automated fashion. So this is where flows would come in. Prerequisite for this uh, is to create a custom field called region. And that field can just be a free text field. Um, also another prerequisite for this is we're going to create a, a custom metadata um, type. Now in this custom metadata type, Metadata type is going to act like almost like a reference table, which is going to store the country values, and that's why we've created a uh, custom field on it called country, and the corresponding region field. So if I go to manage records, um, I can now see, you know, all the records in the region. Um, we've got the account, uh, sorry, the metadata country values Australia, and the region is APAC. So we're going to reference this in our flow. To achieve this, we're going to start a new flow. And this flow is going to be a record triggered flow. Uh, record triggered flow, good for on creation, update, delete. Um, and we're going to make sure this is going to be triggered, a record is created or updated. And then have this trigger after the record is saved. Um, and this flow will go ahead and update accordingly. So, with this in particular, we're going to look at the account object, like we said before. And what we want to do is making sure that the region field is not already populated. So we're going to say the region field is null, and then we're going to set the value to global constant true, which means it's, it is null. We also want to check that the billing country is populated because we're going to be using that later on um, in our flow. So we want to make sure that it is popular. So it is null false in this sense. And we want to evaluate every time a record is updated and meets the condition requirements. So after we've done that, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get records. And this is going to help us get that metadata table that we talked about before. So we're going to say, call this get region allocation. I always like to keep the names of the uh, elements something useful um, so you can reference it at any point in time. So you're going to search here for region, and your metadata is going to come up there. Now, to make sure we get the right one for that particular country, we need to map the country field on the metadata um, object to the country field on your record, so which is your account. So we go to record, and we go down here to billing, and we look for billing country. Now, we're going to store these. We're not going to sort them, and we're only going to get one record return because we don't want duplicate um, records. After that, we're going to simply create a update records element. So we're going to call this update region. And this is going to go and update our region accordingly. In this particular one, um, the one we want to update is our, we're going to specify a particular object, and that is our account. And it's going to be the account that started this. So the way we do that is ID equals i'm going to get the record id we match those together the fields we want to update here are region and the way we're going to update that is by referencing that variable that was created by the previous step so every time you create you get records or you're um updating records you're going to use the record allocation, right? So it's going to get a record variable, and we're going to use, in particular, the region field from that metadata table. Now, it's as simple as that, right? So what we've done is we've triggered our flow. We know what the trigger is. We're going to get the region allocation from our metadata table, and then we're going to update the region on the account. It's a very simple flow, so we're going to click Save, and we're going to call this region allocation. It's as simple as that. And we click save and we're going to click activate. So now going back, I'm going to go find an account record that I have. And on that account record, we're going to modify 
and we're going to see these take in action. So looking here, let's take this Australia One United Oil and Gas. I'm going to go ahead, edit my record. And for example, I'm going to change uh, this to agriculture, for example. And we can see building countries populated. So this is definitely going to update when I click save. I'm going ahead, click okay, details. And you can see the region's now allocated to APAC. Something very simple uh, can improve the efficiency of your uh, team's operation throughout Salesforce.